Hello everybody and thanks for watching. My name is Maurice Fury. I'm from Green Pro Consulting. Um, we are situated in four ways um, and essentially we serve the Johannesburg and Pretoria and then also the north coast of Natal area. Um, I recently had a problem with a SunSync inverter because the current transformer and the inverter were simply too far apart. Um, Sunsink allows about 15 meters, being a 4 to 5 meter that comes with the CT, and they say you can extend it by 10 meters. And in this case, the total cable length between the inverter and the CT was 30 meters. So that was double the allowed distance. And the actual result that we noted is that we couldn't control the current flow. Um, being pushed back into the street. Um, <clears throat> so we looked at the problem and essentially the CT is a 2000 to 1 ratio um, which means that and, and okay so for a 100 amp it would give you 50 milliamp and essentially in this case the feed breakers to the house is 63 amp which means that you can get a maximum secondary current on the CT of 0.032 or 32 milliamps. Um, so what we did is we extended the cable using a CAT6 cable. We used all four pairs, which would then give you four twisted pairs for the total uh, cable diameter of one square millimeter. I think so. That's that should be about. I think a cat five is about a, a quarter square millimeter per pair. Um, and if you use a four pairs, you get one square millimeter. Um, the burden that we you that we put onto the transformer was 0 0.0014 VA, uh, or call it 1.4 milli VA, and. I would assume that this transformer is rated a lot higher than that. Um, so I don't think burden was our issue. I think our issue was that the secondary current is simply extremely small and over a distance of 30 meters, you simply get too much distortion. Um, so one would then probably consider what if you use a standard, call it 100 slash 5 amp CT, then for a 100 amp being fed to the house, you'll get a 5 amp current going through there. Um, and then you take that to the transformer and you simply adjust the CT ratio instead of 2000 on the transformer. You say that it's actually 20. The problem is I spoke to people from SunSync, the, uh, the maintenance guys in, uh, in Randburg. And uh, they didn't have a specification for how much current you can actually put into that input. And whether if you try and force 5 amp through that um, terminal, that input connectors in the inverter, whether it's going to survive or whether that input circuitry is going to blow. We simply don't know. Something doesn't publish the specification and I needed an answer within half a day. So even if they go and find out, I won't get the answer. So I then said to myself, how do I increase the current in this cable, but maintain that 50 milliamp, or in this case, say 32 milliamp at 63 amp, going into the um, inverter um, using current transformers. And the idea that I came up with was to use two current transformers. I don't think a lot of people has actually thought about it, but there's no reason why you can't take a current transformer, take the secondary current of the current transformer, wind it through another current transformer, and then use the output of the second current transformer. There's no reason why you can't put transformers in series. So what I did is I, I I did a few sums and I said, okay, so the current transformers, and I played around with these figures until I got the answers that I wanted to. If we use a 200 slash 5 amp current transformer there, then the ratio is 40, okay, 
And this transformer that I used um, has a, a burden um, specification of 5 VA. So um, if I then use 205 ratio of 40, then at 63 amp, the current in this 30 meter long cable is going to be 1.6 amp. Now that is a lot bigger than the 0.032 or 32 milliamp that you have with the um, with the standard CT that comes with the SunSync inverter. So now I've got a 1.6 amp going the distance and then I elected to wind it through the second CT uh, twice which means that the second CT really saw the equivalent of 32 milliamp. And with its ratio of 1 in 100, or 500 to 5, the CT that I bought, you now go back to a current of 0.032 amp, as you have for the SunSync CT. So now the current that the inverter sees, 32 milliamp, the current going through the cable here over the 30 meter distance is 1.6 amp. Um, and then I tried that and that seemed to work very well. Everything uh, is now controlling properly. If you look at the readings in the inverter, you get the correct readings. Uh, you know, we obviously checked that with a clamp meter and compared it to what the SunSync think the current is. Um, yeah, and I'm happy to say that the um, two uh, dual CT arrangement actually works quite well if you've got longer distances. So, um, as I said in the beginning, my name is Maurice Fury. I um, We uh, do solar and backup systems in the Johannesburg, Pretoria and in the northern Natal coast areas. And yeah, if you have um, problems uh, that you want me to assist with, or if you need a system, please contact me.